Well, hello there again, friends. Today is 1-18-2022, and this is bonus video two for the Odin Project vlog series day 43. Uh, this is going to be a live demonstration of us uh, walking through the um, installation of NVM and uh, Node.js. And um, so I have not scripted this. I've not done this before. So this may be a little rougher video, but we'll get through it. So let's just get started. It shouldn't be too difficult. And it says uh, Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment that allows you to run JavaScript outside of your browser. We will need this for some exercises in the up upcoming lessons. To get started, there's some... Uh, there are some required tools we need before we can install Node on your system. We're going to start. <coughs> excuse me. We're going to start to. Ins sorry, man, my Tourette's. We're going to install it using NVM Node Version Manager because it makes it easy to change Node versions and upgrade nodes. There is another tool called NPM Node Package Manager that you use later to install the various libraries and tools used in JavaScript environments. It can be easy to confuse those two, so read carefully. Node is also very easy to install using NVM, so this should go quickly. And so, just to recap, if you guys are just joining, and, and lovely to see all you new subscribers, uh, I'm currently running Xbuntu uh, 20.04 LTS version inside of uh, Oracle VBox, VirtualBox. Um, and my, my host system is uh, Windows 10. So, I'm doing this inside of Linux, so I'm going to hit this. And prereq to install NVM properly, you'll need curl. Simply run the command below. So, a lot of hand jamming here. sudo apt. I probably could copy and paste. We'll see if it gets longer. I probably will. Install curl because I don't think I already have that. Okay, there's that. So yeah, I love it. I love Linux. It's so fast, easy compared to Windows, and you don't need to reboot every time you install something. Uh, okay, step one. Download and install MVM. Simply run this command. Okay, I'm just going to copy that over. So we are going to curl <coughs> the site. Uh, raw GitHub content looks like we're going out to... NVM's GitHub con GitHub page, and we're going to install, run the install shell file with Bash. Wow, that was incredibly fast. Hope that actually worked. Okay, so supposedly I just installed NVM. Like I said, this is not scripted and live, and I've never done this before. So, in the terminal, there should be some directions on how to initialize NVM. If not, or if you don't feel like copying from the terminal, run these commands. Okay. Okay, so it says right there basically, but we'll go ahead and just do this. Okay, so I got to run this uh, all at once, or is it two separate commands? Okay, uh, export and print. Hold on, print. Uh, uh. Okay, it's. In not sure guys we'll just see what happens am I getting there you know what maybe I should put it all in there uh, I don't know what to do I uh, will just run it okay I did pff, did something all right um this probably ain't gonna do it says this loads NVM. Okay. Well, this ain't going to work because there's no. Uh, I think I probably should have ran that all at once. Yeah, there's no way this is going to work. Yeah, I don't think it. I don't think it's doing anything. Um. Okay. Yo, we can verify. Let's just verify it. Sorry about the dead silence here. Like I said, uh, this is all live. 
10 BM. Okay, if this returns MVM command op found, close the terminal and reopen it. Well, it didn't. <laughs> so that's good. Let's just rerun it, make sure it's not bleeding off the screen. No, it says MVM. So I guess it worked. We'll find out. I'm sure we'll get an error if it did if it <laughs> we install node. So now we have MVM. Let's uh let's install node. Step run a one run um NVM install LTS, which I'm assuming stands for long term support, maybe. Don't know, it doesn't matter. Okay. This will install the most recent stable version of Node in long yep, long term support. Good guess. And you'll see a lot of output on the terminal. If everything worked, you should see something similar to this, to this somewhere in the lines of output. Downloading, installing node dot version 16 period. Okay, we'll look at that. Downloading now using node 16.13. Okay. I don't see any errors. Checksums matched. Okay. If not, close the terminal. Okay. S uh, setting node version. We need to tell NVM which version of node to use when we run the command. In the node command, it's easy, just run the following command. Okay, so we're going to tell the node NVM to use this version. Okay, now using 16.13.2. Okay. We have told NVM to use the most recent LTS version of Node installed on our computer. You must use the LTS version of Node to avoid incompatibilities with packages we will be installing in future lessons. The LTS version of Node is simply a version that is guaranteed support for 30 months after its initial re release. Wow. It is more stable and compatible with a variety of packages than a non-LTS version of Node. Nice. Now, when you run node v, you should see version 16 or something similar. So, yeah, so if you do node dash v, yeah, version 16.13.2, which is what we wanted to use. If you see that, you've success, yeah, successfully installed node. So, there you have it. So a little bumpy there at the export command, but it looks like it worked. Um, so, yeah, I guess um, you run those as two separate commands, or it looks like you probably could run them as if you're watching this first before you do it you probably could run this export command as one one command um, and it should work I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna redo all the other steps but um, there you have it so that's installing uh, NVM and node.js uh, for our future projects so looks like I have a software update to do too let's just, just hammer that out while we're here Okay, Ubuntu base. It's probably because of what we just did. I got a super fast internet connection, so this shouldn't take very long. Okay. Oh, firmware. Okay. I always get nervous when I'm downloading the firmware. <laughs> Just because something can go wrong really fast when you're messing with firmware. Get that low level code, low level packages. If something gets corrupted, you usually get hosed real quick, quick. But it's a good thing. I haven't done a snapshot in a while, too. It probably reminds me after I do this, I should probably do a. Oracle snapshot so I have the latest snapshot in case something does fail I can revert back probably shouldn't looking back should have done that before I started this this uh, install but either neither here nor there there so too late Yeah, this is taking longer than I thought. Usually software updates don't take very long, but so I won't keep you. So anyway, um, that is it for today. Um, thanks for coming along on the journey today. I hope that you found this um, um, knowledgeable and insightful and you're able to apply it on, on your own virtual box or your own, uh, if you're running natively Ubuntu or Xbuntu, that, it, that this works for you. 
and uh, if you would uh, comment below let me know uh, how you're doing and and uh, how you did uh, installing uh, Node.js and uh, please like share and subscribe for more content and until next time see ya